I mean, I agree. There's an enormous disconnect. That's quite interesting, um, which has so many elements to it, right? One just being um, the day-to-day experience being so dramatically different for some people, um, and the difficulty in making that mental sort of leap, but also the visibility, right, that we have of homelessness, which is like one kind of person oftentimes. Um, so we have our image of homelessness is also like people like literally sleeping on the street a lot of the time, but that's only begun to change. People sort of see tents and that kind of thing. Um, but obviously the response to that in New York has been um, uh, less than stellar. It's recent administration choices uh, that are like, very overtly aimed at removing the homeless or unhoused population from New York City without any clear remedies or um, is very much a, a backlash response, I think, to the visibility of, of, of people who are suffering um, as also as, as a result of part of the city's prior policies around housing and real estate. So um, it's, it's uh, to me, this is just another example of powerful interests taking um, the, the main forefront and uh, in a kind of populist solving that's happening right now when it comes to uh, responding to what's happening on the streets. And on the Upper West Side, we had this issue. I mean, so we had, um, as you guys may know, there was a group of unhoused people were housed into a hotel on the Upper West Side. Um, and there was significant community backlash. Um, there was also significant community support that came forward, but they get you both responses. Um, and that backlash is, was absolutely characterized by the kinds of, I think, stereotypes and assumptions that we that we tend to all have about what it means to be unhoused. Um, so people were worried for their safety, you know. Um, whereas yeah, I think, as we know, the evidence shows that um, you know, it, being unhoused is by far one of the, the least safe things to be in America. Um, the number of people that are attacked by, by, by people who are living on the street is minuscule. Um, of the gunman behind five senseless shootings. Authorities in both New York and Washington, D.C. urging homeless people to be vigilant. A homelessness should not be a homicide. This was a cold-blooded attack. The attacker most recently caught on camera in Manhattan, walking up to a sleeping man Saturday and firing execution style. I'm Donna Harrow, and I'm one of the co-directors of the Friday Soup Kitchen, and I've been volunteering here for the last 12 or 13 years. Um, I'm Alison Singh. I've been volunteering for about seven years, and I help Donna with like um, the schools, we're doing some of the schools and that, and uh, yeah. I think most of our guests are on limited budgets, so they need to supplement their meals by going to various programs. People generally assume that food pantries provide food to the homeless. And I think it's part of it is that food insecurity isn't visible. It's totally invisible. If you look at the numbers in New York, it's quite likely, it depends on the neighborhood unit, of course, but in general, at, at least one in 10 people is food insecure in New York City. So um, that means on an average day walking on the street, you are walking down past many people that are, and most of those people have homes, have jobs, so, or have housing and have jobs. 
So it's just, it, it, it's, and they're extremely varied. It's hard to characterize. What the thing that they have in common is this, they're just all in a circumstance and, and living in a circumstance in which life is not affordable, right? Um, so I think it's just easier to sort of lump together this question of the visibility of poverty into homelessness. How do you explain to a child what homelessness is? Um, and it's extremely difficult to do because what you're explaining to a child is that the society they live in is inherently unfair. Um, it does not care for all of its members. And for most children and for most people, on some level, we think we know that's inherently wrong. I think we know it's wrong. And it's because of the way that our society is organized that people are unhoused, right? So I think the, the reason is quite simple. It's a justification. It helps to explain things. It helps to make it seem like that's normal and okay. Um, when the reality is that it's part of a process that began quite a long time ago. <laughs> 